Hi, my name is Annette and I have a lipstick problem. Now, to be fair, I have gotten a lot of these scents in PR. I did not buy them all myself, but oh my God, I can't believe I have this many lip products. It's absolutely insane. Literally last year, I think it was, I decluttered and I got down to maybe a third of this and it's just piled up again. And I just, I don't even use most of these. And the ones that I have in these containers here were in my second drawer. And I don't think I've touched a single one of these since I did my last declutter. So a lot of this is gonna go. I'm gonna be very, very ruthless because I'll be honest, I use the same products on rotation all the time and I don't need all of these. I, I don't need all of these. I'm one person with one pair of lips and this is too much, it's just too much. And I'm gonna keep these organizers to the side. And then as I make my decisions on which ones I wanna keep, I'm gonna sort of organize them on the side here and then we can go through the bunch together when I am done. So I'm gonna be very quick about this, very ruthless. I'm not gonna be swatching that much because if I did swatch all of these, we'd be here until tomorrow. And I really don't wanna do that because I, I don't like lip products enough that I want this to be an hour long video. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off by separating out all of my Uden's Eye products. A lot of these are from the collaboration that I just did and there are, uh, you know, Judy's lipsticks and Tina's lipsticks as well. So I'm gonna keep all of these because, I mean, they're obviously very sentimental to me in a lot of ways, uh, even if some of the colors maybe, honestly, all of the colors from these collections, I really enjoy. And a lot of these are also from Angie's collection from earlier this year. So I'm gonna keep all of my Unsai ones for now because they are so new to me and I really love the formulas. And I'm just going to put those away in a little container like this and put them, I was gonna say back in the door, but I guess I'll keep them out just so you can see what the final tally sort of is going to be like. Um, I'm just gonna kind of dig in here. Um, I do, I should probably mention that my preference right now when it comes to lip products is mostly comfortable products. I do like glosses. I prefer my glosses to be more on the opaque -er side that I can use them with a lip liner and look like I only have one color on my lips. Um, sheer -er glosses are okay too. I like bullet lipsticks. I don't like really any kind of matte formula. I've just realized that they don't look good on my very small dry lips. It's just not my thing. They don't wear well. I've yet to find many formulas that do wear well. I have a couple in my collection that I will be keeping, but for the most part, I'm gonna be decluttering a lot. And I have a lot of uh, lipsticks here from BK Beauty, and I think these are beautiful, but color-wise, I just don't use a lot of these, so I'm gonna let go of a lot. I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm going to keep. I'm not gonna need to swatch all of these because I'm gonna know uh, which ones I like and which ones I don't. And I really wanna only keep like maybe one of the, that is a beautiful orange. See, I'm already distracted by colors that I know I don't wear. Stop it, Annette, just be good. Get rid of the stuff that you know you're not gonna use. That was a little too dark for what I like. And I have used most of these. Um, here's a red shade that I'm just, I'm not really a red lipstick kind of person. So I'm gonna try to keep only one or two. This one I am going to keep. It's a really nice, beautiful nude shade. This one I'm gonna keep as well. This is the shade called Self Love. Very, very pretty pink. And I think those are probably gonna be the only two colors that I do end up keeping. Ooh, that one is also pretty. Do I need both of these though? Like, do I need both of these? Mm, that one's very pink and this one is... Hmm, I think I can declutter that one actually because that one's sort of like an in-between. So I'm gonna declutter this one and I'm gonna keep the shades uh, self-love and grace. So these are going to stay. And I know there's like no reason to my madness here. Everything is kind of in one pile and that's just how I do things. I'm not a very organized person and I'm okay with that. Let's move on to a gloss. I'm gonna declutter this one. It's okay. This one is from Laura Mercier. It's kind of a very sheer champagne-y gloss and I just don't use it. So it's gonna go. This is a flower nose lipstick. This is one of those like souffle kind of 
how do I even explain it, like moussey type formulas. And I thought I loved these. I used to like them in the past. I just don't, I just don't jive with the whole matte formulas anymore. They just don't really work for me. So I'm probably gonna let go of most of them. Let's just get this out of the way. This is a lipstick that I did in collaboration with Menagerie that I still have um, new because I want to keep it for like memory's sake, but this is the shade called Churro, it is a matte lipstick as you can tell, which isn't my favorite, but this was a collaboration that we did like four years ago now. And back then I was totally on board with the uh, matte lipsticks, just not anymore, but obviously I am going to keep it because of memories. Now I'm just gonna grab like the weirdest, craziest colors and get rid of those. Here's a green one from Unearthly. I'm never gonna use it. I kept it last time being like, ah, oh, maybe there will be a day where I will end up using something crazy on my lips again. That day has never come and it will never come and I already know that. So here's a very purpley gloss that I also have from Unearthly. I just know myself, I'm not gonna use it. A purple lip oil from Blem Bunny. If I'm gonna use the lip oil, I don't want to have to worry about how it looks on my lips. I want it to be very, very sheer, sheer enough that you're not gonna really see a color on there. I'm gonna keep my orange one. I love the formula on these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I've almost used up the uh, clear one that I have. I don't know what the clear one even is, but I'm gonna keep both of these because I think they're really nice. This is a also kind of pinky, purpley iridescent gloss. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm also gonna get rid of this one. This is a glam light something. I think it's a glow. I don't even know. I'm gonna get rid of it. Haven't used it, probably won't use it ever again. Um, a ColourPop lipstick, which is a really pretty color, but I don't love the uh, bullet formula from ColourPop, so I am going to let go of that one. I'm also gonna let go of this one from Flower Nose, which I, I like, but it's it's a red and I don't wear reds very often. And it's also just a little too dark for what I like. This one I was influenced to buy by Angelica. This is the Vive, is that what the brand is called? Yeah, Vive, it's uh, Gwen Stefani's brand, is that correct? Wow, I should know this. I am a beauty influencer, Jesus. But it's a very matte lipstick and I just don't care for them anymore. Oh my God, this is such a pretty packaging, but also it's a matte lipstick. And this is from Katkin. I really like Katkin as a brand. I think their aesthetic is beautiful, but again, matte lipstick, just don't care. I have a very, very old Jeffree Star gloss, which I'm gonna get rid of because I never use it. Another one from Glam Light. I'm gonna let go of this one as well. It's very like metallic-y gloss, which isn't really my thing. Same goes for this Unearthly one. This one has like some weird colored shimmers in it, which I don't find this color in particular to be very flattering on me. I have a Melt Super Orange Lip Stain type thing. I like using the these ones. Um, I have a couple here as well. These might be old. These are from the Beetlejuice collection. Are these like still okay? I don't know, but I like using these as lip stains. Like well, I will put it on the lips and then remove it and then put a gloss over the top so it doesn't actually look like this, but they stain the lips really nicely and they seem to be okay still. So I think I am going to actually keep these. I don't use them very often, but now that I see that I have them, I want to use them more. So I'm gonna put those aside. Speaking of lip stains, I have an orange one here that I tried from Stila. I hate it with my entire heart. I hate the applicator. I hate the stain it leaves. It's barely anything in there at all. I'm gonna declutter that one. I don't know why I have a concealer in here. Wait, is this a concealer? Is this a gloss? No, it's a lip gloss. Well, that makes sense. This one is from Ofra. I'm actually gonna keep this. I forgot I had that. So I do like the Ofra glosses. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna try not to keep too many glosses, but looking at what I have here, it's probably gonna be more than I would like to keep. I have another weird color from Unearthly in a lipstick. I'm gonna declutter that one. I have two of the uh, matte lipsticks from Blem Bunny. These are one of the better matte formulas, but I also just don't use matte lipsticks, so I am going to let go of them. There are some here that are like really expensive that I am going to keep because I do like them, even though I don't use them that often. And I would say that all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are the ones in question here. And I do like the matte formula from Charlotte Tilbury, but I also don't like I said, use them that much, but because I spent a lot of money on these and I really 
like the colors of all of them, I am going to keep them because if there is going to be a phase where I get back into using bullet lipsticks that are matte, then these will be the formula that I am going to go back to using. This one is such a pretty pink color. I really like this one. Absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna keep all of my Charlotte Tilbury ones. And now that I'm weeding through a little bit more here, I see I have a couple more from BK Beauty. Let's just take a look at these colors and see if I want to use any of these. That's a pretty color, but I feel like I have a lot in that same color family. This one is too dark, so we're going to let go of both of these. I'm also going to let go of this one from ColourPop, I think. That is a really pretty color, though, but I just have so many similar things that I don't need to hold on to all of them. Um, these Landa Halbert ones, I used these so often back in the day and I forgot I even had them. It still smells okay, so I think I am going to keep... Uh, I'm going to declutter the orange one because I don't use that one really. I'm going to keep the nude one, which is in the shade Pink Opal because I do think this is a really nice lipstick. This is my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Gloss, and it's just getting gross. Like, I know a lot of people have said that that's happened to theirs as well, but when I look at this, it makes me not want to put it on my lips because it's all separated and it looks disgusting. And I know it's fine still, but like, I don't, I don't want to put this on. So I am going to let go of it, which hurts my soul because it's one of my absolute favorite glosses that I've ever owned, but it's just so off-putting to me, the color, that I'm just not going to keep it. Um, this one I love as well. This is actually, wait, no, this is a matte lipstick from Ace Beauté. I thought this was one of their glosses. I'm gonna let this one go as well. This is one from Flower Notes that I am going to keep. This is more of a, like a glossy, um, it's like a mix between a gloss and a lipstick in a stick. I don't know if that makes any sense, but this is really pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is from, what is this? Fluorosis, I think, right? And I love the color. It's also a matte lipstick though, so I am going to get rid of it. And even though I think the container is so, so cool, it's also kind of obnoxious and like very big. And it's gonna take off like half of the room in my purse because I'm someone who don't really like carrying really big purses. So I'm going to just give that to someone that I know because I would not give that to a stranger because it is lipstick that I've used on my lips. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a dual-ended lipstick and gloss, but this is a matte formula. And even though I love the color of this, it's from Citizen Cosmetics. I bought this off of, where did I get this? Beauty Bay, I think? I don't know, I'd never heard of the brand before, but I really do like it. I have another lip stain here from Anastasia that I am going to keep. Let's do some more of these glosses from Unearthly. I have a green one here that I'm going to let go of. I have a very, very bright sort of corally pink, which Judy did something similar in her Unsai collection. So I'm gonna keep that one instead and let go of this one. Small gloss from Pat McGrath, beautiful, going to keep it. This is the gloss I was talking about before from Ace Beauté. Love the color, but I hate the applicator on these. I think my lip shape is just not meant for these. So I am going to let that go because I have a ton of nude glosses. Um, this is a sparkly sheer gloss from ColourPop and I really don't have anything else like this. So I am going to keep it for that reason alone because I don't have a lot of sheer glosses and I'd like to just have one in my collection at least. Um, all of these glosses from Unearthly, it's like I like them, but they're just not my favorites color-wise. I find them to almost look a bit too metallic on the lips. So I'm gonna let go of this shade. Um, gonna let go of this shade as well. Gonna let go of this one from ColourPop. This one from Ace Beauté is gonna go. This one from ColourPop is gonna go. Uh, let's talk about these. These are from the new Flower Nose Collection. I was actually sent that in PR and I just have not had time to do anything with it. But these are the lip products and I have to admit, I don't like the formula. So this one I haven't even swatched. I'm going to let this one go and give that to someone else. This one is the one that I have used and let's see, have I swatched this one? I've used this one too. So I've tried two of them and I just don't like them. They are that Imagine the Kaleidos lip clays, but in a bullet form. Like that is how these are. Like I can show you a swatch so you can see the, 
I like the texture of them. They are really that very moussey sort of formula. And I just, they're very, very, like very matte. But look how beautiful. Like if you like this kind of formula, I think you're gonna love these because they are really nice, but I find them to be just too drying for what I'm looking for in my lip products. So I am going to get rid of them, even though, like I said, they are really nice products, but they're just not what I want to wear on a daily basis. And I'm not gonna keep stuff in my collection that doesn't make me happy. I have a lipstick here from Glamlight. This is the um, Chucky one. And I'm gonna let this one go. I did get this collection sent in PR. I don't, I don't like this color on myself. So that is a very easy to clutter. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. This one I'm going to keep. I think this is from the Scooby-Doo collection. Also from Glamlight, but this one is beautiful. This is a matte formula though, so not my absolute favorite, but I actually do think this formula from Glamlight is quite nice, and this color is just like right up my alley. So if I want a nude matte uh, bullet lipstick, I'm going to keep this one. I have another one from Charlotte Tilbury here, which is going in the keep pile. So we're sort of getting down there, which I'm happy about. Let's talk about these. So these are the shiny gloss sticks from Charlotte Tilbury. And I don't, even, I don't even know the name of these, but I have the shade that I absolutely love, which is Pillow Talk. This is the first one that I bought. I think these are so nice, but when I bought the other colors, I don't like them. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but there's something about these two that just aren't the same. I am going to keep this one, but this one I'm gonna declutter. Like the Pillow Talk one is way more of an opaque formula, which is what I was looking for in these. And I don't feel like these really give me that as much. Now, this shade is nice. This is definitely more opaque. And I can show you sort of a comparison. This is the one I'm gonna keep. It's a shade called Happy Peach. And here's the one that I'm decluttering. And like, you can just see, like they're different products. And I was really sad about that because I love the opacity of this one and of Pillow Talk, but this is just, I don't even know. Like I just, I wanted more opacity and I wanted more color and I did not get that. So that one is going to go. I'm gonna hang on to the other two and try to get some more use out of those. I have another one of the Ace Beauté glosses and because I know this is also a liquid lipstick, so it's gonna go. The container looks exactly the same, which is a bit of a problem. Um, here is a lip balm from Flower Nose, which is also from that same new collection, I think. I'm actually gonna let go of this. It's a little too like silicone-y for my liking. And I don't know, I don't like, I really don't like these kind of lip tube containers. Although I am gonna keep one that I have laying around and it's gonna be this one from Summer Fridays. And I think this one is just really nice. Again, I hate the, I hate this. Like it just gets so messy. I really small lips and I find it really hard to like not get outside of the lines and it just, anyway, this is the kind of product that I only use at home because I don't really need to use a mirror to apply it, but if I'm not careful, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this gloss from NYX. This is a really pretty uh, like brownish gloss and I don't have a lot of brown glosses in my collection. So happily keeping that. Gonna declutter this color from Kaleidos. I'm gonna keep most of these, but this is sort of a cool tone, mauve purple, which just makes me look dead and it is not the look I'm going for. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this one, I'm gonna keep this one, I'm gonna declutter this one, it's a little darker. I just don't use that kind of color that often, but I love these. These are really, really nice. I'm gonna declutter this one from, is this from ColourPop? Yeah, this was from the Holiday Collection. It's the Rudolph something something lipstick. I just don't love the color of that. I think I'm also gonna declutter the Chucky lipstick from Glamlight. It's also just too dark for what I use. I'm gonna declutter this little mini from Pat McGrath, I think. It's okay, but it is a matte uh, lipstick and I don't use mattes enough to really wanna keep too many around. And I have a bunch in my collection already. Um, I'm gonna struggle a bit with these uh, bullet ones because these were the ones that were like in my bottom drawers that are more, out there, I guess you can call it colors. I don't wear that often. I wanna to try to get a little more wear out of this one. This is actually a, like a sample that came with something that I bought. I don't even know what the brand is. Guerlain, I think this is from, but it's such a cool like orange shade. Here's me justifying keeping a bright orange when I know I'll probably never use it, but I just can't. 
can't help myself. I can't help myself. Okay, so let's see. This one I'm gonna get rid of. I have a similar-ish, actually, no, it's not similar at all, but I'm just, I just don't see myself using this color again. It had a good life. I used it quite a bit, but I'm kind of just over it. This purple lipstick, also really pretty for MAC. I really like this matte formula, but do I see myself using a very purple lipstick? See, this is what I did last time. I was like, I'd like to have a couple of these colors in my collection. Maybe someday I feel like using them and this would be the formula that I would want it in. Am I ever going to use this? The answer is no. If I'm gonna use some kind of color like that, it's gonna be this one from Pat McGrath. These are my absolute favorite formulas in a bullet matte lipstick of all time. This is the Blitz Trans, I think they're called. I don't even know if these have gotten continued, but these are so pretty. Like these are everything that I like in a bullet lipstick and the colors are beautiful. The lasting power is so, so, so nice. They are matte without being like super matte. Like this is my favorite red in my collection and really the only red. Why do I have hair stuck to my nails? This is like the only red lipstick that I ever wear. It's definitely more of a, like a pinky red, but again, it's so pretty and it's got like little sparkles in it that just looks so good on the mouth. Um, let's see, I have another one here somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah, this is probably one of my most used lipsticks. Like, see how much I've used of this. Like, that is, that is insane. Truly insane, but I love this. It's such a pretty nude, but it's also got those little sparkles in it, and I love them. So I'm gonna keep all three of these. Looks like I have an Unsai lipstick here, which I'm gonna get rid of. These are discontinued, I'm pretty sure, and even though I like the color of that, haven't used it in a very long time. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I've had this for a long time as well. It's just kind of getting old and I don't use it enough. This one I like for the lip liner, but I don't like the lipstick in here. Oh, actually, these are just two lip liners. Okay, I'm actually gonna declutter this. It's from Half Magic. I have so many lip liners in my collection that I don't need these two. So they're gonna go. This is a Gucci lipstick that I love the color of. It's like this very cool toned, kind of brown shade that's so unique. I don't love the formula though. It's a little too matte for me, but it's so unique to my collection that I am going to hold on to it still and like maybe use it here or there, but it's not gonna be something I use often. Um, I have a matte one here from Half Magic that I'm gonna get rid of. It's again, that sort of moussey formula that I don't use very often. I have two here from, that hair is just sticking to me. I have two here from Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. Um, they're just, they're pretty colors, but I just don't love this formula. It's again a matte formula and I just don't, I just don't use them. This one I'm gonna keep. This I got from Bite Beauty when I went with a friend and we made our own custom lipsticks and I named them after our pets, which is Duncan and Churro. So I made a green lipstick from because of the dog. He's a big goofball named Duncan. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Sadly, my Churro lipstick um, uh, broke. I don't think I have it anymore because it like snapped in half and I'm very sad about it, but I am going to keep Duncan just because of the memories. I have a bullet lipstick here from Ace Beauté. This is the only shade that I think I've kept from them. I really like these. I think they're beautiful. Uh, beautiful lipsticks, really nice formulas. They're not matte, which I like. Uh, this is the shade called Sincere, so I am going to hold on to that one. I'm gonna keep this gloss as well. This is from Lisa Eldridge. It's just a very pretty nude, uh, sort of opaque gloss that I really enjoy. I have another color here from Catkin that is that very matte lipstick, so I am going to get rid of this one. This one I'm still keeping for memories because it's the shade Cinnamon Churro and it's a mini lipstick and I'm keeping it because Churro is the name of my cat and I love my cat. This lipstick I've had for so long, this is from the Sephora collection and it's still a really, really, really good product. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. It's the shade number three from their like cream lipsticks and I think these are just really nice. I have another lip stain here that I'm actually going to keep as well. This is the Wonder Blading Lip Mask. And I have a red shade, which is, it doesn't look red 
um, on the applicator because it's one of those that you put on, leave it on for like 10 minutes and sort of peel it off or take it off. But this is the actual shade of it. Really, really, really pretty. Not the most long lasting lip stain, but you can definitely get a really nice opaque stain from this. And I really enjoy it. So I need to use my lip stains more often because I just forget that I have them. This one here is from LYS. It's also that sort of skinny format. It's just a little too pigmented and dark for what I wanted. It's really hard when you're buying lip colors online, especially when you can't really see them, you know, on people of your skin tone, or sometimes it's just hard because like the models have different colored lips than you do and it skews the color and you just can't quite see like what the actual color of lip product is gonna be. And sometimes I end up buying shades that are too dark that just don't work for me. Let's move on though. Here's another one of the unearthly glosses that kind of looks metallic. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm also going to get rid of this one. Yeah, it's a little dark for what I want in an opaque gloss um let's see this is from fenty and it's this isn't a lip stain this is i think i've only used this twice i'm gonna keep this and sort of make up my mind is this a lip stain i don't think so anyway i'm gonna hold on to this and hopefully now that i know i have it i will use it again I'm gonna get rid of this one from Alien Cosmetics as well. It all also is, it is also. I've been filming for way too long. It's a very opaque gloss, just a, a color that I don't want in an opaque gloss. Let's tackle some of my reds uh, before we do that though. Okay, that is kind of a red. I'm gonna declutter that one from ColourPop. There's a sample lipstick that I had from my Wooden's Eye collab. I'm gonna declutter the sample because I have so many of the actual lipsticks. I'm gonna keep this one from Lawless. It's a... I think they say it's a lip plumping stick, but I don't find much plumping with it, but it's the shade Georgie and I really like that one. Um, I'm gonna keep both of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. This one is my favorite because it's not a matte formula. This one is the matte formula in the shade Velvet Affair. And even though I like the color, the formula is a little too matte for me, but again, I spent a lot of money on that. So I am going to hold on to both of those. I'm also gonna hold on to my Gucci lipstick. This is one of their creamy formulas that again, I just forgot I had. This is in the shade The Painted Veil. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely going to be using that now that I remember I have it. I have a Sigma lipstick here um, in a color that is actually really pretty that I haven't given enough love. So I'm going to keep this one as well. Forgot I had that one too because I have too many lip products. I'm gonna keep this one from Natasha Nona. It's the My Perfect Nude lipstick, and it really is my perfect nude, so that one's gonna stay, but I am going to declutter this one, which, I don't know, there's something about this color that I feel like it's thicker in formula than the other one, and I find it to just be a little thick on the lips. I don't know what it is. Like, it's a really pretty color, but I just don't find myself really using it, so I'm gonna let that one go. I'm gonna let go of my ColourPop lip gloss. I'm gonna let go of these minis from MAC as well. Ugh, they're so pretty though, but it's like I never use them. This one is also, I don't need this. I don't need them. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one, which is a bullet lipstick. Beautiful red, but I don't wear reds at all really. So I only wanna keep one. I'm gonna keep this lip gloss from Laura Mercier. I, I like the like not so opaque qualities of this. It still has a little bit of color to it. It's really comfortable. It's a very long lasting gloss and I know I'm going to use that quite a bit. These are from, let's see, these are from Ravy Beauty and I got these in a gift bag when I was at an event here in Vegas in December and I've quite enjoyed these. I think I have a couple more that I have in my bags somewhere. I feel like these came with more but I've been using them and I really like them. These are almost like a like a gloss stick so they're not as opaque um when you kind of use them and swatch them as they are in the tube so i really like these i think they're a really nice formula i like how small and compact they are and they just wear really well too so i'm gonna keep both of those i'm gonna declutter this little one here from no, this is, wait, is this pillow talk? Oh, this is the mini pillow talk. I'm gonna keep this. For some reason I thought this was a mini Pat McGrath. No, it's mini pillow talk and I love pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna keep that one because I don't have the full sized one. This is a, I think a liquid lipstick from Lethal. 
yeah, I don't love any of those kind of moussey formulas anymore. We're actually getting down there. I'm so happy about the progress I'm making here. This is a really pretty matte lipstick from Melt. I think I'm gonna keep this just because the color is quite unique. It's also, it's so matte though. It's so matte and so, never mind. It's very matte and very thick and I'm gonna let go of it because I know I'm gonna put it on and be like, mm, I don't really like this. And then I'm gonna switch into something else anyway. So it's gonna go, this one from Maybelline. Um, go as well it's mm, actually i'm gonna keep that i thought it was gonna be darker but this is also sort of like the other one that i just swatched so i'm gonna keep this one as well we are down to two and i already know i'm decluttering one of them i think this is ruby red russian red yes from mac this is gonna be the only red lipstick that i keep simply because I don't use a lot of uh, red lipsticks, but if I do, I need it to be something that's not going to get everywhere. And I trust my matte lipsticks uh, from MAC to do that. I really like the matte formula from MAC and this is going to be the one. I love the color of it. I love the formula for being a matte lipstick. So that one is gonna get to stay. Ugh, I love the color of this and I love the extravagant packaging. This is from Man, I literally forgot the name of this brand. I had to look it up. It's from CZ. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Love the packaging, even though I wouldn't want to have this in my bag because it's big and heavy and bulky. But I could use it for display purposes, but I'm not really someone who displays my makeup. So should I keep it though, just for like the novelty of it? Maybe I can make room for this, Michael. It's just so cool. Like, look at this. Like who doesn't want to have a lipstick with a dragon on it? Even though I'm not going to use it. I said I was going to declutter it. I'm not going to declutter it. So I'm going to hold on to that one as well because I think I did fairly well. So let me show you the ones I ended up keeping. Now I didn't do the best job of like organizing them, but I tried as good as I could. So I have matte bullet lipsticks or bullet lipsticks in like both of these. Um, I have lip stains in here, a couple more bullet lipsticks that should have been in this one, I have glosses in here and these are all of my Unsai glosses. So this is all I'm going to keep when it comes to lip products. And I'm really happy about that. I feel like I narrowed it down a lot and I have colors that I love, I have formulas that I love, and I really don't need more lip products. And like, even this is excessive. Like this is so many lip products. I don't need this many, but being on YouTube, I do like having options. And if there was one category that I could narrow down, it would probably be all of my Unsai ones, but I have so many of like my own colors from my collab in here. I have a couple samples, I have like multiples and I just, I love mine. So I'm very happy to have multiples of those. Here is my declutter pile. So there's a lot in here, like a lot, you can see. I probably decluttered, I would say half of my collection, if not even more than that. So super happy with that progress. And now I can finally have some room in my drawers again and not have everything just be overflowing. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this. My next one will probably be my eyeshadow palette declutter, which I'm going to be filming next. And I'm so excited because I cannot wait. I honestly can't wait to get a little bit more room in my bookshelf because I, they're, they're, they're like everywhere in my room right now. I don't even have room for them in my designated like spots in my, in my bookshelf. So I need to cut down on the palettes, but yeah, thank you for being here. If you want to see some more declutter videos, we'll put my playlist right there. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.